Alright, hi guys, my name is Wei Guan and this is um, the first episode in this new channel of my Call It Game Dev Diary. And in this episode, I'm going to feature off how I built my rig. I will show why I built a new system instead of like using my existing iMac and why I choose NVIDIA graphic card and why I want to use DirectX and I will share also my system specification and as well the challenges building this system you know, it's kind of new to me and so the story comes like this. I am developing the games on iMac and using OS X, using Unity 3D. It serves me well for some of the game that I develop. It's just a small, small one, but I haven't released yet because it's like not complete. But then I come to a point where I become greedy and I want to make a 3D games. So upon trying and trying so much in United 3D try to get a good graphic, I can't. And so I go visit Unreal Engine forums, Unreal Engine website and download the system on my iMac which is running on bootcamp on the Windows partition. But then it's just like not powerful enough for me and that's why I decided to build this desktop. And then after then that, the reason why I want to build, uh, I mean develop the games for Windows is because the majority of the gamer are on the Steam and most of them is running Windows as their operating system. So far I haven't found a gamer who run Linux or OS X as their main operating system in their game and not many developers develop this I mean develop games for this platform most of them just simple port from the engine but most of them concentrate on developing on Windows and debugging for the Windows first and release on the Windows first even though after that maybe several months after that they will release the Mac port and other than that is because I want to use the DirectX instead of OpenCL even though we can use that OpenCL on Windows as well but it just doesn't run well when I mean like the performance wise DirectX is better I don't have any proof or links to show that DirectX is better but I know you know that you feel it when you run a game especially those triple a title and then that comes the next question which is what graphic card to buy to build in the new system so i've used like um an amd before in my imac which is the amd m395x it serves me well for that purpose but for gaming it's not really powerful enough and after searching at some forum and Facebook group, I did ask this on the game developer Facebook group. Most of them like sharing almost the same testimonial, which is the AMD have a lot of driver issue and have a lot of glitch sometimes, which I agree to them because sometimes when running on Windows partition on my iMac, the screen suddenly just like blank for a second or become rainbow color something like that or during the playing the games the game just crash and something like that so I guess AMD is not a choice for this purpose I mean gaming and so I decided to go with this NVIDIA graphic card so here's my system specification guys for the processor i choose this intel uh intel core i7 6700k i bought in december 2016 but then the new processor come out in january 2017 but i did not regret the purchase because i overclocked the cpu and it's performs more or less the same with cheaper price i think 
I don't know the price for the KB leg yet, but the sky leg just served me well. And for the graphic card, I choose Zotac GeForce GTX 1060 M edition because, yeah, I plan to overclock, so I need a better cooling system. But not really expensive, so this just just right according to my budget. And the motherboard, I choose Asus Z170K at first. I even like, at first I even considered the Asus Z17K, 170 Deluxe, but when I see the specification and the price ratio, I decide go for the Z170K because it's cheaper and I can extend to get the feature we the feature that exists in Z170 Deluxe cheaper by buying uh, like this wireless card over there and then for the storage I mean for the Windows boot partition I choose to use Samsung SSD at 50 EVO in the M.2 form because this motherboard have M.2 slot one of it so just enough for me and for the RAM, at first I want to buy the Kingston HyperX RAM, but the place that I bought this system doesn't bring any Kingston RAM. So I bought the Corsair Vengeance series instead. That is a one stick 16 gigabyte RAM. Why I want to buy one stick? Because I plan to add more as I need it in the future. So I can get like maximum 30, wait, not 30, 64 gigabyte of RAM if I ever need that kind of RAM. I mean that much of RAM in the future. And after that, I also bought a Western Digital Blue hard drive, one terabyte that runs at 7,200 RPM. I buy blue because it's cheaper than the black and for one terabyte, uh, specification is the same. It's basically the same. And so I bought a power system Corsair VS550 which is 550 watt which I kind of regret because after I overclocked the system it's actually underpowered. For an overclocker I suggest you to buy at least 650 watt power supply. And that is a, I think it's a 80 plus efficiency silver. It's good enough for me. And for the cooling system, at first I just plan, I did not plan to overclock at all. And that's why I buy that 550 watt power supply. But then this, this processor, it doesn't come with a stock fan. And it forced me to buy another fans, a CPU fans. But when I take a look at the CPU fans, uh, I was like, if I have to buy, why not just go for the cooling system, uh, for the water cooling system? And so I bought Corsair H45 cooling system. And so I become greedy. Once I have a water cooling system, I think, why not overclock? So that's how the story goes. So this ha Corsair H45 all in one cooling system is a new model. It doesn't even come out in the Corsair official website when I bought it. And it's kind of challenging to to install it to this small case. But I managed to somehow. And <coughs> because the case come with two 120 millimeters fans and I'm so greedy, I want to to mount all the fan, so I bought a new new fan by Cooler Master Jetflow. I buy the Jetflow because it has LED, and that's the only reason I buy it. And it's cheaper than the other fans. It does. It is not a silent fan, so when it runs at full RPM, it's quite noisy. And after that, I go buy the, I mean like I bought, I tried to find a decent case 
At first, I'm considering like Cooler Master, but all of them is like ugly and quality of the build is not good. So when I take a look at this NZXT S30 S340 designed by Razer, the quality is the quality of the build is very nice and it's a pretty looking case with some LED lighting. So I decide why not just go with the flow and I get that two pieces of LED stripe which add more to my power draw but I did not regret it and I'm using Apple wireless keyboard so <laughs> I need a Bluetooth so I bought just a Bluetooth dongle over here um, it's a cheap Bluetooth dongle just like 20 ringgit Malaysia if convert to US dollar it's like five dollar Bluetooth dongle uh, brain by AB, AVF it's good enough and it's quite like yep it's it works as what is intended and I also bought a new like flash drive because I don't have a flash drive a pen drive or or anything like that so I need that flash drive to install Windows because this case it's not come I mean it's not optical drive friendly because there's nowhere to mount that in this case and that's even though they they have uh, an optical drive mount I don't even plan to use to buy an optical drive anyway so using a flash drive to install Windows is the way to go with me and so the problem and the challenges that I I how to say I face when I install this system is like first the cooling system. This is rather right new cooling system, and then when I search Google, how to find uh, to find a way to install this into the case because it doesn't fit at all. I can't find it anyway, and that's the first challenges. And because it is my first water cooling system, installing the 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 mount bracket is also a challenging compared to just use the fan, the stock fan. And <coughs> my rate all failed and I lose around 200 gigabyte of data, which is all the Steam games. Mm, but it doesn't stop me from using RAID O, I mean RAID 0. I'm still using RAID 0 now and yeah, I will still continue using RAID 0 even in the future for this kind of configuration. The reason why my RAID 0 failed is because I overclock that CPU until 5.0 GHz. And then I don't know how, somehow the pin, the CPU fan pin on this motherboard fried and that. And I didn't know, I didn't notice it because, yeah, I didn't monitor that all the time. And so the, the cooling system somehow doesn't work the pump only the fan is moving and spinning but the pump is not working because of the CPU fans pins die so when the pump not working the tip the CPU temperature just rise up until I don't know around 90 degrees 200 degrees and the system that shut down on me automatically and unproperly like that so upon finding the after resolving the problem by just connecting the the pump to directly to the power supply, I managed to boot up, but then I found out my rate zero this fail because one of the these oh like cannot be accessed. And the other things of the challenge is just to keep the system stable. I don't have any heat issue with overclocking but my issue rather come from the power draw because my power supply cannot supply enough power to the system because it, with too many CPU pump, CPU fan and then two fans on the case and one more fans there and two LED lightings and I also mount five external five extra HDD 
to the system. So I compromised by just down clock to become 4.8 something gigahertz and it works well f for now. And so that's all for my system build and I will show you the the, the complete case with uh, some benchmark in the next video because we will compare my system and the value of for the money with other game developer that running on GTX 1050 Ti and which is like IMG Vertex Studio and another game developer that's called himself Zeno Aisam Zeno Aisam Studio which run on GTX 1070 he, he already have one game release on Steam which is Banzai Escape you guys should check it out and another gamers, our friends who run on GTX 980 in SLI configuration which means two graphic cards versus what we have here compared to the price we buy is it worth it? wait for my next video alright Thank you for watching guys, please like my video, subscribe and dislike if you don't like it so that I can find, like I can prepare the video that you like for the next time.